guys, so today's video is going to be um, a little different, well, okay, it's a book review, but I'm tired of calling it a book review because I feel like you guys just don't want to watch it because it's a book review, um, or you're just busy, I understand, it's quarantine, it's summer, but, um, so today I decided to call it Coffee and Book Talks, I don't know, this is my coffee, I don't want to spill it, but yeah, you can't see it, um, it's this delicious English toffee, oh shoot, sorry. English toffee flavor. I love it. Um, I just made it, so it's really hot, so I'm not going to drink it yet. But um, I, I, I'm I, super cold right now, so I made it just so that I could warm myself up because I don't want to turn the heater back on because I know I'll get hot um, when I do that. So, okay, so this is the book review on the second book of the Caraval series. And I know I didn't do a book review on the first one, but I kind of told you what it was about. Um, Scarlet and their... Um, Father or Scarlet and Tella are sisters, and they live on this isle of this the Isle of Trista, and with their awful father. And then they end up getting invited to Caraval, um, to play this game. Caraval is like a game. It's like this game where you have to um, where you have to uh, sorry um. Uh, play this magical game, I guess. It's like magic, and it just, it's like you, and if you get too swept away, you go insane, and you die, it's crazy. Or you don't die, but you go insane, and it kind of sucks, but anyway. But Scarlet and, and Tella get, um, get, oh my gosh, get invited, and so the sailor, Julian, who happens to be on the island, um, or Isle of Trisda, he ends up taking them to the Isle of, Isle de Sueños, uh, that's Isle of Dreams, or Island of Dreams. Um, that's uh, Legends, uh, the Master of Caravals. Uh, island, sorry, personal island. Sorry, I am having such a hard time with words today. Anyway, um, but then when they get there, Tella is kidnapped, and so it's a race, a race to find her, and her sister ends up teaming up with Julian, who she does not, oh my gosh, who she does not like at all, and um, she ends up falling in love with him, and I loved it so much because their romance was just amazing. And then um, they end up like they they have to jump through hoops in order to get to her sister. And it turns out that her sister fell in love with Te Le Tella. Tella fell in love with Legend, and then she kills herself because her dad ends up there, like ends up finding them. And but then the prize of that year is a wish, and so Tella wishes her back to life, and she's you know, heart, like, like, it's, um, if you want something the, um, most, that's what your wish is gonna be, you know what I mean, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm butchering that saying, but anyway, so she, they get, she comes back alive, Tella comes back alive, and Caraval ends, and she ends up with Julia, it's amazing, now the second one, I'm getting ready to read, because I, I love this book, um, it kind of sucked, but at the same time, it was really good, I actually kind of hate the third one i'm actually reading it right now but i will tell you about that because i'm i plan on finishing it tomorrow or i'm trying to finish it by tomorrow um so that i can do the other book review because on saturday i'm going to start at guitar and i'm so excited all right so this is what the book looks like it's so beautiful i love it like the first one had like the star and then like or i don't know but it just it was the first they're all beautiful but i this one is my the first one and this this one is my personal favorite the third one is not really my favorite it's just not i don't know it's kind of i feel like it's kind of bland or something like i don't know i feel bad for saying that because i mean they worked so hard on these covers i just don't like it it's not my favorite all right so let's get started a heart to protect a debt to repay a game to win after being swept up in the magical world of Caraval, Donatella Dragna has finally escaped her father and saved her sister Scarlet from a disastrous arranged marriage. The girl should be celebrating, but Tella isn't free yet. Or isn't yet free. She made a desperate bargain with a mysterious criminal, and what Tella owes him, no one has ever been able to deliver. Caraval Master Legend's true name. The only the what. Eh, the only chance of uncovering Legend's identity is to win Caraval. So Tella throws herself into the legendary competition once more, and into the path of the murderous heir to the throne, a doomed love story, and a web of secrets, including her sisters. Caraval has always demanded bravery, cunning, and sacrifice. 
sacrifice, but now the game is asking for more. If Tella can't fulfill her bargain and deliver Legend's name, she'll lose everything she cares about, maybe even her life. But if she wins, Legend and Caraval will be destroyed forever. Okay, now let me tell you, this was so scary because I was so afraid that something bad was going to happen. And I mean, not everything bad happened, but... Okay, so yes, she did make a deal with a guy that she had no idea about, and he wanted Legend's name. And you know, like, or well, you don't know, but like, it's hard to get Legend's name because he his performers are compelled not to, you know, tell anybody. Like, they have restrictions on what they can tell. But Tella ends up finding out that the heir to the throne is a fate, and a fate is an evil per is an evil magical being who is heartless, like, they literally are heartless, and they have nothing, like, they, they think humans are nothing, like, they use them for entertainment, it's just, anyway, she finds out that that is her friend, and also the heir to the throne, um, and so, he's not really the heir, but, um, and he's the prince of hearts, and he can control anybody's hearts, like, or emotions, but he's not at his full power, because the witch, yes, I know, I said witch, um, the witch who made Legend took some of their powers. Because she, when she banished the Fates, she took some of their power and gave it to Legend. And he's immortal. And so, and they're also immortal. Um, anyway, so she finds out that he's the Prince of Hearts. And then there's this whole thing that has to do with her mom, like Paloma. Um, but who, her name is actually Paradise. Um, she, she left seven years ago. And then never returned, but then it turns out she was trapped in a deck of destiny card, which is like where they, it has the pictures of the little fates, or the fates that they, because they were turned into cards is what I mean. Um, like when that witch banished them, they she turned them into cards, and they were called the deck of destiny. Well, Paloma stole them, and then gave up her second daughter to the stars, temple of the stars, or whatever, and she freaking... I don't know. It was so annoying. Anyway, but then T Tella finds this all out, and so then she falls in love with Legend, and he's immortal. His love, his one weakness is love, so when he falls in love, he turns human, and he doesn't want to give up his immortality for that, but, and, oh my gosh, it's just so annoying, and because she thought he was Dante, this one other performer, and let me tell you, I was so mad that he was Legend. I was so mad, but it added a great twist to the game or game, to the book, like, anyway, it's just, oh my gosh, it was so good, and then it turns out Scarlet wants to give her old, she had an arranged marriage, that's what they said, yeah, she had an arranged marriage to this count, Nicholas D'Arcy, and, uh, he was really sweet, uh, she met him in the third book, I think, in the third book, yeah, and she wanted to give Julian a chance, but he lied to her again after he, the day after he told her that he wasn't gonna lie to her, but then Tella found out that the, that her real fiancé wasn't the guy who was in the game. He had just pretended to be her fiancé and stuff. And so they didn't want to tell Tella, or no, Scarlet, but then they ended up telling Scarlet, and she just got really upset. Anyway, so she wanted to give the Count a chance. And I don't know, I really didn't like him. I feel like Julian really is her one true love because he makes her... He makes her try adventurous things, and it's just, it's so good, and their relationship is so sweet, like, oh my gosh, anyway, but then it turns out that Paloma, like I said, she was trapped in that card, but they had no idea she was a criminal, she loved to live off of, um, off danger, and in danger, like, she just loved it, and it was so good, and then, I don't know, it just, it took a twist, when Tella got trapped in the card, but then, um, oh, 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 hold on, I need a drink. Wow, this is really good. Um, I forgot. Okay, so the Fates have, like, one weakness, and it said that the Prince of Hearts had one girl. Like, he can make any girl fall in love with him. He had one girl that would make his heart beat, because, like, his heart wasn't, he was dead inside, and all this stuff, like, he didn't have a heartbeat, and he, um, anyway, sorry, um, I was getting distracted by friends, 
Um. Um. But anyway, um, I'm so sorry. I keep getting distracted. Okay, anyway, and I only have five more minutes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so then, after that, um, he, they kissed, and he basically tried to kill her. His kiss was fatal, so if he kissed her, he would stop her heart, but he ended up, like, saying that you have until the end of five, the end of Caraval to, um, to before you before you die and stuff well then it turns out that she's immortal not immortal but immune to his kiss so she really wasn't gonna die but she wasn't but she was close to it like you know what i mean like i don't know how to explain it <laughs> i'm sorry it's like you really thought she was gonna die but then they made a third one so of course you would know like i mean of course she wasn't gonna die but like at the same time you really thought she was um, but then, like, it turns out she made his heart beat, so she was immune to him, and it, it's amazing. Anyway, but yeah, it's, it was crazy, and then it turned out that, um, all the, t all the cards were tied together, so when he let Paloma out of the card, Dante, or, well, Legend, he let all the fates out, and as soon as her mom woke up, they would wake up. It's crazy, and then Tella almost died, um, because she got caught with, by, with the handmaidens. And, um, the handmaid, or the, de the, un the handmaiden's death, or the maiden of death or whatever, she got caught by her, and then, yeah, it, she, it was, oh my gosh, it was crazy. Anyway, but yeah, this book was really good, I really did like it. Um, I finished it in four days, unfortunately, it took me forever to finish it. Okay, four days is a, not a long time, but it is for me, when I'm having a time crunch. Um, this third one, I'm trying to finish by tomorrow, like I said, I just started it. I can't remember. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, anyway, I barely read yesterday, so that was my fault. That's the reason that I didn't finish it. Um, So I'm going to read it today um, and tomorrow. I'm going to try and finish it by noon. Um, I'm actually having afternoon coffee, Um, like I said, to warm me up. Um, And then I will try and finish this book by noon so I can have the book review up for you. And, um, and, um, so that I can start a guitar later that night, maybe, or Saturday. But yeah, I'm really excited. I hope that this book, or that my book review, hopefully it's not butchered, um, it inspires you to read Caraval. It's Caraval, Legendary, and then Finale. And oh my goodness, it's crazy. This book is already crazy. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to tell you about it. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.